today I'm very honored to have the opportunity to present my works to you today where I would like to talk about our current studies uh, regarding the um, gene therapy by combination with non-viral vector and in vivo electroporation for bone regeneration. And previous uh, um, doctor, uh, very difficult uh, um, pronunciation, your name, is, I'm sorry. Um, Feistinger, Dr. Feistinger already uh, talked about uh, uh, bone regeneration therapy using BMP. <coughs> and some um, topics very close to your talk. Um, but um, I will talk continuously. Um, Bone regeneration therapy is a pivotal role for the quality of life of patients who have suffered from bone defect caused by the malformation, tumor, and trauma. This slide shows the sequence of bone graft operation for alveolar alveolar bone um, regeneration. The therapy such as the bone graft accompany with uh, surgical operation and uh, <coughs> there is uh, some risk for patient uh, for example infection and uh, loss uh, continuous loss bone uh, implantation so it's necessary to develop a method for safe simple and efficient bone regeneration for this purpose, we paid attention to BMP. It has a strong ability for the bone induction, as you well know. This slide shows the sequence of bone induction by BMP. Generally, two or three days after BMP treatment, undifferentiated cells develop into chondrocytes. After two weeks, Bone formation occurs in the process of endochondral ossification. In addition, intramembranous ossification also occurs. Uh, first, many researchers use the recombinant human BMP protein. BMP protein is soluble and dispeases soon after implantation. So the delivery system to retain the BMP protein at the target site is necessary for bone induction. Previous studies using the protein have required carrier matrix, and moreover, it cost high expensive to purify the BMP protein for human use level. Next, we tried to deliver BMP gene to the target site using adenoviral vector. But we need local or general immunosuppressive treatment as shown in this slide. Um, as you can see, BMP2 gene expression adenovector only works uh, if used the immunosuppression reagent, FK506. Uh, there is no bone formation uh, without immunosuppression reagent. So if there is no immunosuppression, uh, sorry, so we need uh, new strategy for bone regeneration uh, by non-viral gene delivery system. Non-viral delivery system do not require immunosuppression, but the efficiency of the transfection is usually lower than the viral vectors. Then we tried to apply the combination with non-viral vector and electroporation. 
for bone regeneration. Electroporation is an efficient and simple method. It shows the gene transfer technique by electroporation. We attach the muscle indirectly via skin by plate types electrodes without a skin incision. Next, each dose of plasmid in PBS total volume, 50 microliter, is injected into the center of the target areas between the electrodes. And electroporation was studied immediately after the injection by applying eight electrical pulses on condition with 100 voltage 50 milliseconds. Um, this is the mass, uh, like, like the Z expression novel vector injected and electroporation. There are many ex stained fibers, but uh, this muscle uh, was treated by only injections, no electroporation. There is less fibers uh, stained ex -yard. Our first aim of study was to determine whether gene transfer by transcutaneous electroporation could induce ectopic bone formation in the skeletal mass of rats. We constructed the PCAGGS BMP2. Uh, PCAGGS vector has the CAG promoter which shows a high potential for gene expression. In this study, plasmid dose is 25 microgram to 400 microgram. Electroporation was repeated one to five sessions at intervals of 24 hours. To identify transgene expression after transcutaneous electroporation, um, this slide shows the production of BMP2 protein in the muscles electroporated. The production of BMP2 in the target muscle is clear, but the BMP production after gene transfer is not dose dependent. Also, session of electroporation uh, does not dependent. This, this is uh, the histological analysis uh, time course finding. Um, up to 20 plus <coughs> day after electroporation with BMP2. By five days, after electroporation, spindle-shaped fibroblast-like cells had appeared accompanied by uh, fibrous matrix, and uh, these fibro fibroblast-like cells showed BMP2 positive cells by immunohistochemistry. Uh, Ten days after gene transfer, there are uh, chondrogenesis in the muscle fiber. And uh, mm, 21st days, soft X-ray uh, represent uh, the ectopic bone formation in the muscle. In the histological analysis, also there are mature bone tissues, included uh, bone marrow and uh, some osteoclast and uh, lining uh, osteoblast cells. Human BMP2 gene transfer using transcutaneous in vivo electroporation without surgical operation induced bone formation in rats. However, there was no significant relationship between the dose of plasmid vector uh, and the volume quality 
of the ectopic bone. For clinical application, it would be worthwhile to improve the method to enhance bone formation at the intrinsic level of the osteoinductive activity. It's well known the heterodimers of BMP family. BMP2 and 7 have more strong bone inductive potential than uh, homodimers. We tried to evaluate the effect of direct and simultaneous gene transfer with BMP2 and BMP7 in vitro cell culture system. 10 days after the gene transfer by liposuction, C to C12 cells that had been simultaneously transfected with equal dose of plasmid showed stronger alkaline phosphatase stain and the quantitative analysis is uh, about five times stronger than uh, homodim homodimers of BMP2 or, or BMP7. Based on our in vitro study, we examined whether in vivo electroporation with equal doses of BMP2 and BMP7 genes is effective bone formation. This slide shows the skeletal muscles that received simultaneous and direct gene transfer of BMP2 and BMP7 genes in vivo electroporation could co-express BMP2 and BMP7 messenger RNA. Um, and this slide shows the histological analysis um, for simultaneous gene transfer of BMP2 and BMP7. Uh, the calcification um, much wider and stronger the uh, BMP2 homo homodimers production. So BMP2 and BMP7 genes simultaneous and direct transferred into muscle could induce bone formation more rapidly than uh, only BMP2 gene transfer. Next, for more simple procedure of gene transfer, we tried to construct the vector which could produce the BMP2 and seven heterodimers. Our constructed vector does not have internal ribosome entry iris site, so the vector can express multiple genes equally. We performed immunoprecipitation using supernatant of the cells after transfection with BMP2 and 7 heterodimer produced vector. We detect the slightly higher bands than BMP the only expression vector detect Western blot with BMP2. This result revealed our constructed vector produced BMP2 and seven heterodimers. In vivo study, alkaline phosphatase activity assay reveals the same ability with simultaneous BMP2 and 7 gene transfer and BMP2 and 7 heterodimer produced vector. Also in vivo study, we found the strong ability to induce bone formation in the muscles. To this point, we Electroporated 
under the condition 100 voltage for the clinical application, we need more safe electroplated condition lower than 100 voltage. We tried to examine the efficiency when the voltage is set lower than 100 voltage. Moreover, for the mucosa application, we tried to direct electroplate intraskin area with incision. When we reduced voltage 50 volt, the efficiency of gene transfer also reduced. But when we increased the time or pulse sequence, the efficiency of gene transfer could recover at the same level of the 100 volt condition. Next, we reduce the voltage 25 volt. We could not recover the efficiency of gene transfer. But in the case of inside of skin, we could recover the efficiency of the gene transfer with a longer time procedure, 200 milliseconds. We tried to induce a bone formation in the skeletal muscles of rats with lower voltage, 50 volts. You can see the bone formation, same as the 100 voltage condition. So far, we could successfully construct the animal model of the ectopic bone formation with non-viral vector and electroporation. Now, we are trying to induce bone formation in the periodontal tissues of rats. Alveolar bone supports the teeth, and if the bone will be lost, it never recover and regenerate it. Our final goal is to apply our bone regeneration system to the periodontal tissue for alveolar, alveolar bone regeneration. First, we made the electrodes for the periodontal tissue of rats. We made electro, electrodes, uh, we took dental impression and made, made dental model. And we made electrodo, electrodes for periodontal teeth of rats. Unfortunately, uh, today I cannot show uh, the special electrodes to you because of the um, problem of pa patent. patent. Few minutes. Okay. Uh, on day after BMP2 uh, and seven gene transfer with electroporation, we detect the, the uh, inflammatory um, markers. But uh, in the same time, uh, me recruit the mesenchymal stem cell, for example, CD44, so many uh, cells uh, recruited by electroporation. And uh, 10 days, uh, you small bone for formation. And uh, 14 days after, you can see the additional bone tissues uh, formed. And uh, now we are trying to uh, examine uh, the remodeling 
bone remodeling uh, effect by electroporation gene transfer. So I summarize, uh, we could successfully transfer genes to periodontal tissue by a combination of non-viral vector and in vivo electroporation. BMP2 and 7 gene transfer to periodontal tissue induce additional bone-like tissues. <coughs> we need observation of the alveolar bone remodeling after gene transfer for more longer term. Thank you very much. Uh, you mean the, the receptor of BMP? No. Smart. Have, have smart. Ah, have smart. Ah, down regulate. No. You you no. Uh, have tried to co-transfect BMP? And the smart. To get a more robust bone formation because uh -huh. you activate the pathway at different levels. Ah, uh, not yet. I. Yeah, I don't. Do um, uh, free. Thank you very much. Thank you.